Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Crash Bandicoot 4. This time I'm going to take you through Off Balance. This is a very long level that has some pretty challenging parts, as well as what should be a death route from classic Crash terms. In addition to that, there are two very nasty box placements near the very end. So if you're missing a couple boxes, chances are that's where they are. All right, so this level introduces a concept of wall running. It's pretty easy. Uh, if you find yourself jumping off them too early, what I recommend doing is waiting until your sneakers squeak a bunch of times and then jump. That was my best timing that I found. Okay, so once you're on these platforms, you can grab these optional Wumpa Fruit if you like. That is a Venus flytrap or a piranha plant, so just make sure you avoid this. Do a sliding jump to grab these two boxes, otherwise you'll miss out on the one-up and the plant will get it for you. But you'll still get credit for the box. Okay, so from this checkpoint, you want to hit this ghost... Unfortunately, I lost a mask there. That's okay. There's a total of uh, four masks in this level, so you have a chance for two uh, Super Aku masks. All right, so jump across these platforms. Wait for this door to open. There's four crates in here as well as a bunch of Wumper Fruit. At this point, you should have 46 crates of 187. Ride these elevators up, and you should be having nightmare flashbacks, PTSD, from uh, Slippery Ascent and uh, sl Slippery Climb, whatever it was in Crash 1. I blocked the names out of my memory. All right, so with Akano, you want to activate immediately because there's two torches that are going to be shooting uh, green orbs at you once you're back on this platform. Once the fire activates in the distance, you want to start moving over and then drop and then activate again and then make sure you fully clear this torch so you can grab the flashback tape. All right, go ahead and grab all that, activate again, and then hop over here break these boxes. There is a TNT in case you want to take care of it all super quick. All right. Don't forget to kill the ghost. And then move on towards the checkpoint. And after the box, after the checkpoint, you should have 60 crates. We're going to make our way to the bonus now. The bonus in this stage is uh, pretty hard, and it is very easy to lose an Aku mask. So just follow what I do here, and you should have no problems. All right. So once inside, you want to jump over here, bounce on these five times. And then do a crouching double jump up here. Slowly break these boxes. There is a one-up in the middle. And then you want to activate the TNT all the way to the right. Slide under. And then do a crouching double jump up to this top row. And then slowly break these boxes safely. Okay. Come over here. Wait for the nitro to hop. And then double jump over. Don't hold the direction on your first jump. Instead, hold the direction on your second jump. And you'll be able to clear it no problem. At this point, you should have your first Wumpa Fruit Gem and 90 of 187 boxes. All right, so in this section here, there are a couple of hard boxes. There's one above this torch. Go ahead and activate and grab that. Quickly deactivate, trigger the TNT, and then start making your way over. You can use that box as a safety mechanism. You can uh, just completely jump over this torch, but I had done this level so many times that I was just trying to play it safe. So be as safe as you like. Okay, these platforms do collapse, and there's a ghost on this platform, so be very careful. And now we're going to go to a secret area that may as well be a death route. So over here there's a fan, and you want to drop to the right of it to this secret area. There are no boxes in this area, but it is some very difficult platforming. So go ahead and get rid of these two quillin, and then start making your way to the fan in the distance. Don't hug the left wall, because you can get caught. Quickly deactivate once you're on this side, and then double jump over and wait out this torch. Move past, and then just activate a Kano and go through this dragon sequence. Deactivate once you're over here, and then quickly jump and activate again, because there is a torch and a Quillen over here. And then you want to come up here. Right up here, and then we have to do some tricky flame avoidance platforming. So once the flames are done... Move over here, and then on this platform, you want to double jump over this rotating flame. And then the hidden gem is just past it. All right. Really reminiscent of the uh, Arabian Night levels in, uh, in, in Crash 3 and their death routes. All right, so here, activate Akano, because there's a Quillen up here that can just jump and kill you if you, you know, just have bad timing, or just bad luck, really, with the timing. Once it's dead, you want to activate double jump, and then fall, and then activate. And then you want to head back over with a uh, double jump with a Kano. 
break these crates, and then double jump all the way over here and deactivate. This way you do not blow up a TNT. Okay, there's a one-up crate there. And just do the same thing as you go back. Deactivate, lift, activate, deactivate. Okay, there's a one-up crate over here, and you will lose a Kano. But at this checkpoint, you should have 106 crates. So you want to wall walk over here. Okay, grab the Aku mask and the one up. If you didn't lose your mask before, this will be a triple mask, so this section gets a lot easier. Cross this bridge quickly, but then wait at the very end and the very edge of this platform to wait out the flame. For these, you want to wait till the very last second before you jump. Kill that ghost. This makes it easier to get this uh, very precariously placed bounce box. Okay, wait for the last second again, and then jump over. Careful the nitro crate, sort of obfuscated by the railing. All right, this is kind of difficult here. Just wait for your sneaker squeaks, and then jump. Okay, grab this checkpoint, grab Lonnie Loli, and get ready to do some very mean platforming. Activate the TNT, wait for it to blow up, and then wait for the platform to come back, and phase shift so you can stand on the platform. There's a ghost guarding another platform here, so just double jump, bounce on him, and then you should be able to time it pretty easily to jump over. But there is a crate that is phased out, so you want to double jump off the platform, bounce on it, then jump back over to the platform the ghost was guarding. From here, phase, and then you want to do a crouching double jump, bounce on this five times, and then just jump over to safety here. Jump and phase, and then there is an armored crate coming up here on this platform. So do a crouching, double jump, phase, and then you gotta wait for the platform to come back near you. Jump, body slam, and phase right away. This way you land on a solid platform. Definitely a butt clencher. Okay, so just bounce off of this ghost, and you can get this one up. We are almost done with this level. Okay, so we need to phase some boxes in and then quickly phase out the nitro. So wall walk, spin, spin, phase, double jump off. There is a crate hidden above this wall, or above this TNT on the wall. You can see it here. So what we need to do is we need to grab an Econo mask from the next platform and then make our way back. But there is another crate right here as well that is very hard to see on this balcony. So these are the two crates you're probably missing. With the Econo mask, you wanna be very careful to not go too far on this platform because you will lose it. So you want to just sort of hit the edge of the platform. Don't go past the middle. And we're going to try one more time, and then we'll be able to get it. Okay, so activate, come back over, drop, and then do a double jump and break that crate. So once you break it, you should have 140. And then the rest of the crates are pretty easy to get. Luckily, we did not lose too many masks, so we're going to get a super Aku mask here. And that's going to help us out a great deal with these flames. Uh, it's okay if you just waste some masks. It's probably easier to do that. Um, but don't forget that if you find yourself floating for too long and you don't think you're going to make the timing of one of these flame pillars, just deactivate and drop and then try it again. Okay. So once you're over here, that is it. You should have all boxes if you follow this guide closely. And that is off balance. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Crash 4, subscribe to the channel so you can get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.